is equal to the selling price of 12 bananas, find the loss. So this is an exact same example right here. All right, so the cost of 10 bananas, let the cost price again be X. So let the cost of one banana be X. All right, so that means the total cost price the total cost price would be equal to, we bought 10 bananas, so that's 10x. Now, let the selling price, selling price of one banana, let the selling price of one banana be equal to y. And so that means the selling price is equal to 12y. But they tell us that the cost of 10 bananas is equal to the selling price of 12 bananas. So the cost price, the cost price, the total cost price, this is what we know now. The cost price is equal to the selling price. So since the cost price is equal to the selling price, that means that 10x is equal to 12y. Yes. All right. No. Anytime the cost price is dearer than the selling price, we made a loss. So that means the loss per banana, the loss would be equal to the selling, the, the, the loss is equal to the cost price minus the selling price. So the loss is X minus Y. That would be our loss. That is our loss. So therefore now our percentage loss is equal to the loss of X minus Y divided by our cost price. So it's X minus Y divided by our cost price of X. And then we multiply it by 100. Multiplied by 100. But of course, looking at this equation right here, if we have 10 X is equal to 12 Y, if we were to divide both sides by 12 right here, divide both sides by 12, what we would get is this 12 cancel this 12. And so we would end up get that Y is equal to, this look like 10 X over 12. And some people might simplify to say Y is five X over 12, five X over six. So if y is 5x over 6, then the percentage loss is going to be x minus y. But y is what? y is 5x over 6. This is 5x over 6. And this is all being divided by x. And then we multiply it by 100. So what does that mean? x x minus 5x over 6, we can use LCM, and this would then become 6x over 6. And so what we end up get is 6x, 6x over 6 minus 5x, in the numerator becomes 1x over 6, so 1x over 6, and that is divided by x and then we multiply it by 100. Now one X over six divided by X that work out to be one X over six divided by X that is just X over six divided by X. That's this part, X over six divided by X. That's what we have. And then we multiply it by 100. Now X over six divided by X, what is going to happen is this becomes X over six multiplied by one over X. X over six multiplied by one over X, and then that is multiplied by 100. Now the X over six times one over X, this X cancel this X, so we get one over, we get one over six times 100 and 100, one over six times 100 is 16, 100, 
So we end up get one, this is now one, one. We get 100 over six. And let me put that in the calculator right here. 100 divided by six, which is 16.67%. So that's the percentage loss. 16.67% easy question. Oh, 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 oh,